Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48 World. That's me, okay? Told y'all I was coming back for another video, so check it out, okay? So come on into the dining room because I'm right here. I'm in the dining room and I'm taping. You'll probably see me taping all around the house. I'm just searching for that good lighting. Uh, so like I said, I need a new computer and some of the lighting is kind of off. And I might have to be changing out my bulbs in some of the rooms to get a more defined light, lighting so y'all can see me and basically enjoy what I'm giving you. But today's topic of discussion is, in my own opinion, I mean, it just dropped by on my social media platform, on my social media feed. And I did a video uh, maybe several weeks or maybe a month ago on this particular person and topic. The topic that we're going to be discussing is Apollo Nada and why he didn't get released and why he had to serve, stay in jail in Fort Dix or possibly that halfway house. And he won't be getting out until October. Yes, yes, yes. And I know why, guys. I know why. And it's a stupid reason. That shows me he's not ready. He's not ready. I thought he was ready to get out. Yeah, I thought he was ready, my gifts, to get out, face society, and do the right thing. But he's not. And I'm like 100% with the parole officer. Put that joker right back in jail. Oh, don't you look cute? Put put him right back in jail. My daughter's going out. And um, I'm here with the mother, her grandmother, the 80-year-old. Yes, my mom. So... I'm about to be gone in a few minutes to go get her some lunch because she's going to be out like lightning. If it's not at her table, on her table, ready to eat, she gets down like that. Okay, that's my mother verge. Anywho, back to what I was telling you. Come on, sit down in the dining room with me and let's chat. Get your favorite beverage of choice right now. I'm drinking water by Crystal Glacier. It's a uh, one we get from... I think it's Ingles. If you're here in um, Atlanta, Georgia, you know what I'm talking about. Or they may have it around the world. I'm not sure. But it's some good water. Other than, you know, getting, getting it out your cap, water, out your faucet, and boiling it, and then letting it freeze or get cool where you can drink it. I like cold water. I don't like no temp water. But getting back to the subject, I guess we're all situated now. We're, we're sitting down. We're ready to converse about this topic I'm going to break out on, Apollo. Okay, like I said, the truth is, why he got sent back to jail and he didn't get out like he was supposed to get out was because he had to get his groove on. Now, I don't know if it was a groove on that he was doing with an inmate inside or it was a groove on with his fiance. <coughs> Excuse me, his fiance. But, yeah, that's my mom. She just walked past the screen like I wasn't even taping. I don't know what's going on, but, you know, let her do what she got to do, okay? But, yes, they say it in writing, in public uh, documentation, on social media feed, the world of the net, that this joker went back to jail because he had to get his groove on. I couldn't make it up. If I try, okay, sex is a very powerful thing. And when you need it and you feel like you got to have it, you're going to do anything to get it pretty much. Okay. With the willing participant, of course. I was just shocked. I said, Whoa. and I thought Paige was behind it. I did on my first video that I made about this subject. I thought it was Miss Paige trying to play games again, trying to rub hands with her people she know in a correction facility to see what she can do to keep that joker behind jail. Behind the bars and away from her and, and his children, their children together. But it just is what it is. And I was like, <sighs> he just couldn't wait. I mean, I thought they had conjugal visits anyway, but I think that is when you're married and he was a fiance. That's why I feel like this story just has too many different parts to it. And he's going to get a reality spinoff show when he finally do get out. And he's going to be able to tell us a lot of dirt, a lot of dirt on. Um, Phaedra, probably a lot of dirt on the other people he conspired with, with which got him in jail for this white collar crime he did, and so on and so forth. But he just, I, I don't know. 
I, I don't know. What's wrong with him? And I'm like, yeah, you need to stay in jail. I need you to stay until October. I think it's 29th or 25th. They're supposed to let him out of this year. He needs to stay in thing because, again, he letting the smaller head think for the bigger head. And that ain't cool. And that ain't right. And it's going to get him in more situations for the negative if he continue on with this type of behavior. But I just want to know what y'all feel about it. You know, do you think he was right? Do you, do you think he had people under him that he was trying to control or he felt like he was going to take uh, care of them when he was out in society? And, you know, I don't know. But I'm like, it seemed like the people that he trusted told on him. You know what I'm saying? I said, if you're going to do a crime, if you're going to do something that's kind of illicit and you don't want nobody to know about it and it might get people in trouble, do the crime by yourself. Let the crime be kept between you and the Lord. Because you can't trust nobody out here. People say that your friends are not your friends. People that want your position, they would do anything and everything to take you out of that position. Okay? That's just the way of society. People always say that's the way of the world. No, the world ain't got nothing to do with it. It's the people in society making these rules and regulations. And when they don't want to see you get ahead, they will do it and everything. They, they will make up a lie. And the lie will become the truth. Okay? Even though we know it ain't true. And you probably got to spend millions of dollars uh, retainer fees and lawyers trying to get you out of the mess. But sincerely, you have enough haters or enough people that don't want to see you excel. They will make a lie become the truth. And people are quick to believe a lie quicker than staying in the fight and believing that the truth will prevail. But like I said, we live in a very satanic world now. So you just have to go with it and stay prayed up. Stay prayed up between you and the Lord. Not nobody else. You pray for everybody else. But you just have those conversations that are just very disturbing to your consciousness, your spirituality. You have those conversations with the Lord. And he will set it all in his due time. He will make all your enemies your footstool. But I just want to set that out there for you. Okay. A little spirituality going on. Okay. Dropping wisdom nuggets there. But let's get into what black or Atlanta black star.com wrote up. Yeah, this is a reputable uh, magazine. That is putting out the dish, the dirt, the deliverance of social media in the entertainment world on us. Okay. It reports with the title, the reported reason why Apollo Nida is back in prison has the public collectively shaking their head. I know only the players or the ballers could probably understand his reasoning of why he did what he had to do or the man who was coming in. Logical. Rational thinking people. Nah, we ain't finna go with that. We see freedom ahead, and it's like, through, you know, it's so close we could touch it, we could eat it. You know what I'm saying? we going for the gold. We're gonna stick and stay fast and stay focused because we want out them dogs. But see, I think Paulo done kind of in a second nature, he done got used to that prison life in a certain way. You know, maybe he's kingpin up there. I don't know. And he, he wants to still keep his ties there. But I'm like, homie, do you want your freedom? Or do you want to be locked up? Those are the, the two you be, need to decide on. Freedom, not freedom. Freedom, locked up. Freedom, somebody else telling you what to do. Freedom, I don't know. <laughs> I just lost it because, see, I love my freedom. I don't like to be like, you go in that little hole and I'm clocking you, you know, I'm, I'm locking you up and you ain't getting out and I got to look through peephole. You know, see when I can talk to somebody. No, I can't be like that. I can't be caged up. My dogs ain't even caged up, okay? They walk along this house on the outside or whatever when I let them out because I'm like, please, I'm like, none of that stuff. So they free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't have them in cages locked up and say, okay, you can come out to eat or you can come out to exile or you can come out and do your business. No, they're free, okay? They are free, free, free. So if dogs like freedom, animals like freedom. People should like freedom. You know what I'm saying? Especially the black folk. We've been oppressed on the umpteen, you know, years. Come on now. Apollo, I don't understand. I don't understand. It's not calculating with me. Okay? <sighs> I digress. But getting back into this black star commentary. Yes, it was written from um, journalist Kirsten Willis. And it was published on yesterday, June 21st, which is Friday. Okay, so I'm giving it to you, Sarah. If you saw it, bear with me. It's my opinion that I'm reading, but it's their article, but I'm giving you my opinion on it. And I, I've expressed it pretty well, I'm sure. But anyway, we go into the reading. 
It said it only took nine days for Apollo Nada to return back to prison after his early release two weeks ago. Now, it's been reported that there's a specific rule of the halfway house he was in. He broke. Okay, Nada, who was in prison on charges of conspiring to commit mail fraud, wire and bank fraud in 2014, was released from his eight year sentence at the New Jersey Fort Dix Correctional Facility on June 4th, okay? <clears throat> it says Phaedra Parks' ex-husband was sent back to prison on June 13th, and the blast reported it was because of a rule that he violated in the Philadelphia halfway house he resided in. Sandra Rose is the report, okay? Since she reported, he allegedly had inmate relations. Now, when I first heard, I said, inmate relations? Okay, he's still in jail. Is he having sex with men up there? Oh, uh, he, he having hookups coming? What, what, what are they talking about? And then I said, okay, maybe they're talking about conjugal visits. But then again, since he's his fiance, they not married. You know, they just really boyfriend and girlfriend with a promise to get married. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? <clears throat> and uh, so... Is it he having sex with men or is he bringing and sneaking her in and think he's going to get away with it? Because usually it's, it shouldn't be if you start a real hard time. I think you have conjugal visits with supposedly your wife. Um, and I guess you ought to be on good behavior or whatnot. But see, he just broke that car in the road that you weren't supposed to break. You know what I'm saying? Just you what it is. But moving back to the article, okay? It said he reported by Sandra Rose had allegedly had inmate relations, okay, there, there at Fort Dix. It was one on, it was one on the list of rules NIDA report, reportedly had to follow. Now it said that NIDA could not, women, now it said that NIDA could now remain in prison to his original release date, which will be October 15th of this year. Okay, and I'm all for it, I'm all for it, I'm like, so you already breaking rules, we sent you there. To be on good behavior, get out on time, come back and be a father to your kids. Okay? Daddy to your kids. However you want to view it. All right? But you couldn't even do that, right? I'm like, all this time, you don't waste it. And the white criminal collar type crime that you committed, you're sitting up there, still can't follow directions. Still can't follow directions. I don't understand. All this time away from society. I mean, you had your cold rules in jail. Now you had your cold rules in society when you get out being a free man. Are you trying to live two worlds, Apollo? Are you still trying to be up there in the fraudulent type mentality where you can go to jail? And this time you'll probably be serving your whole sentence. You know what I'm saying? Because you're still not following the rules around here. We got to follow rules. There are rules in society. If we all go butt naked, wild out here and do what we want to do. We talking strictly chaos, 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 chaos. So I said, somebody come and pick you up. Mm -hmm. Where you coming back? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what? We you eating with? Well, you been on eight, huh? So what are you really doing? You want to come say hi to everybody? No. Come on, girl. No. Get to the vibe. No. Do it for the vibe. No, no, no. Come on, show them, huh? No, no, no. Who you is? I don't know. You got to fix it. Hey, yo. That's Shotzi. Star J craziness. Hey, hey, to Shotzi. Well, Marzi. There we go. Oh, okay. But well, that's nice. You did that. Okay. She doing a little soft song for her mom. But she acting right. She acting right, y'all. She's just leaving me. No, we're supposed to be here for grandma, the 80 year old woman. Okay. But she going out to celebrate her boyfriend's parents um anniversary or something and they doing good they're going before three o'clock at any restaurant so they can get that deal but we ain't got time we ain't got time to be playing all that money you know that most people pay when they want to go out after three and pay the full price for something they still gonna get you know a lot of but they're getting it for a discounted price now that's me every day all day okay that's how i roll but sorry about that let's go back to this article uh, it said, according to the Washington, D.C. nonprofit advocacy organization, families against mandatory minimums, halfway houses provide more freedom than prison. But along with rules, they still have certain restrictions, including curfews. Upon news emerging that authorities put Nada back into the slammer, his fiance Sharon Al Mufti, Tore into a parole officer. She seemed to point the finger at the PO, parole officer, 
for her betrothed being put behind bars again. Okay, they can't stop us, babe. That's what she's writing and they're reporting. But those who are confused at Apollo 903 didn't violate a I can't say it because it's cuss. I don't slip out. That's what they said. They wrote it. Uh, a goddamn thing. Okay, that's what she said. A goddamn thing. That's what she said. Another crime against a black man in the system. Let's see this. Let's see this. What I'm talking about. People always want to throw stone for stone, a stone of an opinion they think is correct. Now I'm like, dear, Miss Shireen, if he violated a said rule. That was written down him. More than likely he signed off on it. He violated a rule. There are no conjugal visits. Or there will be no relations. With outsiders. While you're still in our residency. Okay. So they're not trying to keep him away. He just got haters up in now. Now some people. They let things like this happen. They slip cell phones into prisons. Dope and all this other kind of illicit material that they're not supposed to have. We know they have them in the prison system. We know, and they let it go by. Some, you know, some let it go by. They turn the other way. They look the other way. They look to the right. They look to the left. They look everywhere, but where they need to be looking. But you thought, and maybe they, they wanted a bribe. You know, who's to say? Maybe they wanted five on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe they want a 20, a good 100 to look the other way, to look the other way. Okay, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But he got caught. He was probably not paying off the POs or whatnot, bribery, you know, which he shouldn't have even got into because we need him to stay away from offending anybody, especially the law, because we know he'll be back in there and you'll still be on the outside searching, hoping, wishing, praying your man come home. Okay? But that was just my commentary. Let's get back to this. Okay? Yeah, she going off on everybody and they reporting it, of course, and she's blaming it on the system trying to keep the black man down. No, no, we can't throw that card in because he offended. He broke a rule of theirs that he knew, you know, about. And that person just, whoever reported him, they just didn't want it to slide. They ain't trying to like, you know, look the other way, look the other way. They're just doing their job. Okay. They don't care who he is. All right. And uh, that's just how it is. And maybe the, the PO that uh, uh, report him don't like him. Who's to care? But just follow the rules. That's all Apollo had to do was follow the rules. All right. So anyway, it goes on to say jealousy is a disease and his PO would die mad. Uh, emoji. Emoji. Okay. Uh, she, she captioned a June 4th Instagram photo of her hugging her fiance. And it says, meanwhile, fans shared... Their thoughts on the supposed reason behind Nada's revoked freedom. Shaking my head, Lord, why this man just couldn't hold out until he was clear. He tried to get him some tail before he got to the halfway house. Should have went straight there. It was probably due to an improper inmate relation within the halfway house or someone he did. My ex was in a fed halfway house and I visited him plus People are married and, and have relations and can kiss or whatever. So it's something he did. Not the system. You know what I'm saying? Okay, there. that's crazy, but he was stupid. I wouldn't violate for anything. That's the that's person talking about like they freedom pretty much. <laughs> yes, we would have no violations from keeping me getting out that door from XYZ time. Okay, you just going to have to wait on me, baby, or write me sexy notes. Send me pictures or whatnot if that's permitted. Other than that, uh-uh. Don't come up here because I'm going to do my time and I'm going to get up out of him. Okay? Because I'm tired of the clink clink behind me and I can't, you know, go pee when I want to. I can't go out when I want to. I can't eat by myself if I want to. I got to follow all these rules like I'm back in my mother and father's house when I was growing up and I wanted to just break out because I didn't like their rules. Okay? So I have to, like, throw the foul flag in on the play. Because, no, that was just Apollo doing what he wanted to do, thinking he had friends that were going to look the other way while he do some indecent stuff. No, Apollo. And see, that's making me think, yes, you need to be in jail till your whole sentence is served, which will be October. They didn't even give us a date. Uh, 
Yeah, I think it was in October. He's getting out. Yeah, October 15, 2019, from what Atlanta Black Star has printed up and writing for us to take part of. Uh, if we dare so read their article, which I did, you know. So, uh, yeah. He gonna be there. At least he'll be out before Halloween. He go trick or treat with his kids and this and there. If he don't do any other infraction, I mean they put him in solitary. You know what I'm saying? Just nobody deal with him. Just get him a Bible to read, magazines to read, get him paper to write his thoughts down on, and start a journal. You know, just isolate him. Or he should be asked to be isolated until he can get out. Because you know he he definitely building himself up, uh, muscular wise and, and looking healthy. You know, so we, we definitely, as taxpayers, are paying for his fitness, his uh, nutrition, his shelter, clothing. You know, in a sense, he shouldn't want for anything. <laughs> but like I said, sometimes we be do too good for the criminals. Now nah, they need a flatbed to lay on and need to poke them here and there. Uh I believe in feeding somebody because ain't no sense of treating them wrong when it comes to feeding. But having TV, they don't, have, they don't need them for solitude. They need to be up there living like monks, okay? And even if you think you want to do an infringement and, and, and violate somebody, no, you ain't going to violate nobody because you're going to be by yourself. We, we spend too much money on these prison systems to be having all this alleged stuff going on, the truthful stuff going on, you know, about people getting raped in jail and just that. No, you got time for that. Mm -mm. We got medication for that. You feel like you, you know, need some. Okay, we finna uh, desensitize you so you won't have none of that. It's gonna be you shot in the arm, take a pill, whatever. And we're gonna alleviate all of that. And you're gonna, all that you're gonna have is the Bible, some books to read, some paper to write, you know, your thoughts on or whatnot. That's about it. You're going to be doing nothing. You're going to eat well. You're going to take care of your medical needs if you have them. <laughs> and you're just going to do your sentence. You're going to do your sentence. All right. And then it's, it's, it's pretty much it. You know, that's how I feel about it. And in, in certain instances, I, I believe in capital punishment. I believe, okay, if we really got the right person for the crime that was committed, then to me, you need to have you did them people's. Uh, you shot them to death, you stoned them to death, you, you, you raped them or whatever. We need to give you back that same treatment that you did to that person. You offended. Okay? You assaulted. And then I say, that's just for jest. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not here to make that decision. And I, in a sense, I really, really want to. But in my mind, that's why I think on certain crimes, you know, that are very heinous, you know, very seductive. Uh, what do you call it? Um, just against humanity, you know, very horrific. You need to pretty much die the same way they die, you know, two for two, eye for eye. That's how I feel about it, y'all. That was all of my commentary that I wanted to express my opinion on because this day of Chanel's opinion show, okay? My opinion based on my opinion of what I was given. Uh, and where I found information, you know, because I'm trying to deal with just only reputable sources and giving you my take on it, how I felt about it. And I just thought that was just a very asinine of uh, Paulo to do this thing. He know he got two gorgeous boys, especially his firstborn out there, wishing he was at home, play football with soccer, go to some games, you know, be a coach for the, the team that, you know, his sons are on, you know, get some male bonding time. Because I'm sure they don't been around Phaedra and, you know, grandma and all the women and all this, because, you know, she she lost her uh, relationship with Capone, whoever that is. I think he's a radio personality somewhere. But, you know, I, I kind of knew that wasn't going to last. They just didn't look good together, you know, and they did. There just was no feeling of love. It was just like, okay, let's take a picture for the cameras, you know, get them something to talk about, keep us relevant in this social media world, you know. <sighs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm so, so very over it with Apollo. Because I was there for him. I was rooting for him. I was like, yeah, this, this joke is going to come out. He's going to do it on thing. His kids are at a very, uh, very impressionable age now. He can still form them. He can still be in their lives. And he keep doing stupid stuff. Stupid stuff. Worried about himself. That's why a lot of people get in bad situations because they self-love as self. And you can't be. You can't be sick. You got to show love to other people. You know what I'm saying? Stop doing what you think is right for you. Because once it gets so embedded, that's what you want. You want to do it for your family. It's going to stop being 
for the love of your family. It's going to be for the love of you. And you, you can't do that and be a good person. So that's all I got on this particular story. I will be back for another review. Because like I said, I'm trying to get the numbers up again and get my money every month instead of every four months, six months, whatever. And it's my fault. I'm not doing my due diligence here on the tube. So I'm going to get back on the tube. If I can get some things going that I want to have going that my paycheck is not going to cover right now. So have a blessed Saturday and I'll be back soon for something. Thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's Four Days World and thank you for coming to my special syndicated show in my opinion. Blessings! <laughs>